The Patriot newspaper on the morning of November 22, 1963, reported that President John F. Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, had arrived in San Antonio, Texas, the day before to a warm welcome despite a bitter Texas Democratic rift. On the evening of November 21, the couple traveled to Fort Worth. The next morning, they departed for Dallas. Around 11.39 a.m. on November 22, Air Force One touched down at Love Field, northwest of Dallas. The president was scheduled to give a speech at Dallas Business and Trade Mart. It was the first time that Jacqueline accompanied her husband, according to newspaper reports, on a major stumping tour, a three-day swing through Texas. It was the first, and the last. President John Fitzgerald Kennedy was shot around 12.30 p.m. as he rode in a motorcade in Dallas and pronounced dead at 1 p.m. President John F. Kennedy slumps down in the back seat of the presidential limousine as it speeds along Elm Street toward the Stemmons Freeway overpass after being fatally. Mrs. Jacqueline Kennedy leans over the president as Secret Service agent Clinton Hill rides on the back of the car. AP photo slash iCaltagen's AP Kennedy had started his term as the 35th President of the United States in January 1961. In the motorcade, the Kennedys were accompanied by Texas Governor John Connolly and his wife, Nellie. JFK and Connolly were shot as the car passed the Texas School Book Depository near Dealey Plaza. The car sped off to Parkland Memorial Hospital where JFK was pronounced dead at 1 p.m. His body was taken to Air Force One where, before the plane took off, Lyndon B. Johnson was administered the oath of office at 2.38 p.m. on the plane after he was sworn into office, Johnson, according to newspaper. Lady Bird Johnson said to her, We feel like the heart has been cut out of us. Connolly was seriously injured and underwent surgery for wounds to his back, chest, wrist and thigh, according to history. Com. Kennedy and Connolly were shot by Lee Harvey Oswald who was arrested for shooting Dallas police officer J.D. Tippett about 45 minutes after the shooting of Kennedy. Oswald was killed two days later by former Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby. Across the globe, people were shocked and saddened by the president's death. Sports events across the nation were cancelled. Television stations cleared their schedules to air all coverage of the assassination. The front page of the Patriot was entirely devoted to covering the assassination, as were several other pages, 